it. So I'm going to sort of pull back the curtains a little bit on the fitness industry. And you know, I've been in the industry over 20 years now, and this is still something that drives me crazy. And you know, granted, I was in this situation at one point, but it's it's something that is most people in the general public are unaware of, and it impacts the thing about the industry. The fitness industry is one of the most unregulated industries out there, next to maybe massage or something like that. But even then, people can get massage on healthcare, and you have to have a certain qualification to do that. Anyone can call themselves a personal trainer. Anyone. You don't even have to be certified. Yet, what the industry's dirty little secret is, is that even certified personal trainers have almost no qualifications. Over two-thirds, so I'm going to draw a circle here. So this many people, everyone out here, has a weekend certification. Two-thirds of the people in the industry have a weekend certification. That means on a Saturday and Sunday, they went for eight hours each day, 16 hours total, wrote a multiple choice exam that I guarantee you could pass, and they're a certified personal trainer. It's ridiculous. They call themselves, they got a little certificate on the wall, I'm a certified personal trainer right now. If you went out this weekend and you know, read a little manual and you know, took 16 hours of instruction, I guarantee you could pass a multiple choice exam. I've seen people pass it that had, didn't even study for it and they've never taken anything else before. Would you be comfortable calling yourself a certified personal trainer, taking money and training clients? Probably not. Yet, two-thirds of the people out there have that. Some of them go on to improve their education and take you know, other certification courses and things like that. But the fact is, there are people out there charging clients with 16 hours of instruction. And the even more important factor to which is they could be working side by side in the gym with someone with a PhD in exercise physiology, and they charge the same rate. They're both certified personal trainers, and the public doesn't really know that. So we have a report on our site called How to Hire a Personal Trainer, and I re really encourage you, if you're looking at hiring a trainer, download that, read through it. It gives you the questions to ask, but the fact is know who you're hiring, and not all trainers are created equal. Uh, at Fresh, we have very strict hiring standards um, from education levels, as well as people have to pra um, pass practical internal in-house uh, examinations and, and um, ex observations with us in order to actually be hired. Now, with that being said, I know people in the industry with university degrees in kinesiology or even master's degrees that are atrocious trainers because they don't know how to relate to their clients and explain the knowledge that they have. They might have fantastic technical knowledge, but they don't know how to explain it to people. So there has to be a good balance, but there needs to be a minimum standard. And the, the personal training industry is lacking that. So it's buyer beware out there. You need to interview your trainer, make sure that they have specific qualifications. And in the report, there are a bunch of questions that I uh, get you to ask. And, uh, there's a link uh, down below to that report, so you can, uh, you can fill that out if you want. But it's really important if you're considering hiring a trainer, make sure you know who you're hiring. The same goes for group exercise. A lot of group exercise instructors, they might be trainers, but if they have the weekend course, they first of all don't know how to train someone one-on-one -on -one effectively at that point. Now they have 10, 15, 20, 30 people in a room, and they're expected to keep them safe and provide good programming for them. The reality is that it's just not the case. So think about how you would feel going out and doing a Saturday, Sunday course, writing a multiple choice exam. Would you be comfortable going in and charging for services and, and training clients in that respect? But if you have any questions on that, we'd be happy to answer them. But uh, definitely download the report. It has a ton of great information in there. And we'll see you soon.